Hello and welcome to another Try Tutors video. In today's video we're going to be discussing ambiguity. We're going to talk about what it is and go through some examples. So there are various kinds of ambiguity. We're not going to delve too deeply into the details of the different kinds, but rather we're going to focus our study on some examples and how to correct some examples. So ambiguity is when there is more than one possible interpretation. There is a double meaning or the meaning is unclear. This can refer to one particular word that is messed up a sentence that can mean it has two potential meanings, or it can refer to the construction of the sentence itself. Ambiguity is usually tested in a paper one context. Either your um, teacher or your examiner will ask you directly to identify the ambiguity or they might even ask you to correct the ambiguity based on the context. So you need to read the context, you need to read the paragraph, understand what the intended meaning was and then you'd be able to correct it. Um, if you need to identify it, then you have to show the two possible meanings that could come out of that sentence. But ambiguity can also come up in adverts or cartoons to create a sense of, um, a sense of humor. Um, it can be used as a technique of humor in that way because um, someone could misinterpret the meaning of the sentence that is being said by another character and this could lead to humorous results. Um, another thing to be aware of with ambiguity is that it is an error and so when you're writing your essay, so not in paper one, but when you're answering your other exam questions in different papers, be aware that you need to avoid ambiguity at all costs because ambiguity is going to make it unclear to read what you want to say. So it's going to impede the readability of your essay and therefore it's something that you would like, you would want to avoid at all costs. I know that a lot of students do struggle with ambiguity and I think the reason is because we have we are in, exposed to so much ambiguity in real life, in daily contexts, and yet we automatically assume the correct sort of interpretation based on the context. So that's why it can be a bit challenging to identify it within a paragraph or within a passage. Um, and so my advice is to really read through everything in a super detailed way and think about what potentially this could be interpreted as, even if you automatically saw the correct interpretation as you were reading it through based on the context. So I'm going to read through some examples on this slide and I want you to think about the potential ambiguity. And then on the next slide, we're going to go through the two possible meanings and of each of these sentences. So let's go through them and let's see if you can figure them out before I get to the answers on the next slide. I drops off the shelf. She saw him with the telescope. He fed her cat food. The cow is ready to eat. After rotting in the basement for weeks, my friend brought up some fruit. So pause the video if you want and try and figure out the two possible meanings for each of these sentences. Okay, so if we were asked to identify the ambiguity, eye drops off the shelf, we could say, well, either an eye, an actual eye has dropped off the shelf, or eye drops are no longer being sold, they are off the shelf or off the shelves. If you had to correct it, then you would just choose either one of these sentences based on the context in which you're given which one the writer was intending to convey. She saw him with the telescope. Well, this can mean she saw him through the telescope, so she was the one looking through the telescope. Or she saw the man who has a telescope, so she saw a man who was using a telescope. He fed her cat food, so he either fed a woman the cat food, or he fed her cat some of the food. The cow is ready to eat, so either the cow is ready to eat its meal, or the cow has been prepared and is ready for people to eat it. And the last one is slightly different because really there's only one possible intention behind the sentence, but it has been constructed in such a way that it is ambiguous. After rotting the basement for weeks, my friend brought up some fruit. We could rather say, after the fruit was rotting in the basement for weeks, my friend brought it up. So these are some real life examples of signs which have ambiguity and I think that once you see these and understand them, 
you are going to see a lot of signs um, just in everyday life where you'll notice the ambiguity. So I'm not going to explain them, I'm rather going to read them through and see if you guys can figure out the ambiguity in the comments. So the first one says, slow children at play. Don't let worries kill you, let the church help. Do not chain bicycles to poles. These will be removed and disposed of without notice. Smoking bare feet pets prohibited in building. Cows, please drive slowly. So hopefully these are some fun examples that you can analyze and assess the ambiguity and understand what the intended meaning was versus what a possible interpretation can be. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please remember to like the video and to subscribe to the TriTutors channel.